Hello everyone, welcome back to Mirror Moon EP. Okay, so let's get back in game. Things have changed since I last played. Two things have changed. Alright, start this thing up. Flip, 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 flip. I love doing that. <laughs> okay, two things have changed. One, your fuel does regenerate when you're not playing the game. Now it is at max, which is excellent. Thank God for that. And number two, when I last left, the uh, percent complete, which I think is percent named. Oh, someone took Asimov. I was actually thinking about having that as a possible name. Okay, yeah, look, almost all of these are named now. Cycle, Akira, Alicia, Tiny, that's, that's the one I named. Uh, okay, yeah, so 70% is now done. It was once 4% yesterday. It has only been about 24 hours and now it's already 70%. So yes, things are changing. I'm guessing what happens... Uh, I, I don't know this, but I'm guessing that... Once it reaches 100%, it probably doesn't flip you over to the next season. I'm guessing something happens when it reaches 100% that allows you to do... allows you to do something. I don't know. But I'm obviously not going to reach 100% today. But let's contribute to this number a bit, and when I come back next time, this will definitely, without a doubt, be 100%. What's going to happen then, I don't know, but I'm really, really, really curious. So for now, let's just do our part and discover some more planets. Alright. So, because it takes fuel and I have to travel, the best thing to do is obviously choose the closest planet. So let's go for this. And let's not use all of my fuel, dear god, that is so dumb. If I did this, I'd basically be able to go to one planet and then I'd be done for. So, let's do that. Is that. What is that, 13 seconds? No, that is six minutes. Um, I didn't realize it was that far. Uh, oh, that's why... Oh, God. I need to rotate. Look at, look at how far that is. I'm a fucking idiot. Okay, stop. Just, just stop. I've already wasted the fuel. Actually, now that I think about it, why does it take up all of your fuel even though you haven't even gotten there yet? That's weird. It should only use up as much as it needs. You know, like, if it takes 100 seconds to get somewhere, use, like, one fuel per second, so you can stop at any point and not waste all of the fuel. That's actually really weird. Alright, now what is actually closest? That was so dumb. We're off to a bad start here. Okay, um... It's kind of hard to tell. Alright, well this big one... Alright, that's actually pretty close. Yeah, 1 minute 17 seconds. Okay, let's go. Alright, 1 minute. 1 minute and 10 seconds. I'm okay with that. Let's take a look around. We can actually see ourselves moving. Barely. But you can see it. Whoa, didn't mean to let go of that. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to name some planets until I basically run out of fuel and then call it a day. Hmm. It's very relaxing just to stare out at the stars. Which is kind of funny, actually. For some reason. Staring out at these stars in this game is actually relaxing, but... If I stare out at the real stars at night, in real life... I find it infinitely depressing. It's so depressing to stare up at the sky. In real life. Don't know why that is. I don't know, it just feels like you're totally insignificant looking at all the stars. But for some reason, when I look at these stars in this game, it's not depressing. Okay, and we're there. Flip that over. Beside and go. Alright, so is this going to be a puzzle planet or another walk to the thing planet? I think this is going to be a puzzle planet. Because we have those... Things. 
Alright, let's follow them. Okay, this one's broken. <laughs> let's follow a different one. Wait, is there a different one? No, there's not. Uh, oh, wait, there, there we go. Yep. It just infrequently pulses. Okay, I'm here. It's getting away. It's faster than me. No, come back. Okay, I probably have to wait for it to come back. Or not. Hmm. Okay, let's just keep exploring. There's got to be something here. Is that the one I just walked away from, or...? Hmm. Pretty much impossible to tell. Did I just go in a circle? <laughs> I don't even know. There's gotta be something on this freaking planet. I'm confused. Surely there's something, right? I mean, I could just leave this planet and leave it for someone else to deal with. But I really want to solve it. Oh, there we go. Okay. That gives me the ability to grab? Yes. Okay. Now I can probably follow those things and get somewhere. Is that going to pulse something into existence at the end? I think that's usually how it works. Maybe not. Let's wait for it again. Wait for it to come back. Nope. Uh. Wait, but I thought... Wait, what? I, I don't understand. How is where I'm moving affecting whether it's day or night? Uh, let's move that more in front of it. Okay, there we go. I think that was bugging out. Because that doesn't make any sense at all. Right, let's follow this back to the. S what the hell? Is it moving? Right, this just doesn't seem to point to anything. I think it's just a red herring. And if there's one thing I don't like, it's red herrings. I only like yellow herrings. I don't even know what a herring is. I think it's a fish. Ah, it's daylight again. I don't even know where the sun is. I'm tempted to leave this planet. <laughs> I don't like this planet. Or star, or whatever it is. I don't know, I don't think you can usually stand on stars, can you? But then again, you don't... I don't think people usually travel in spaceships and... use a gun to move planets and... Yeah. Okay, forget this planet. That was a waste of fuel. Okay, where am I going next? Somewhere close. Somewhere pretty close. Okay, these three big ones. Now, let's go for a small one. Actually, never mind. There's no small ones that are particularly close by. Check out these two big ones. Hopefully, they're not named. No, they're actually not. Okay, let's go for this one. Uh, only 25... Oh, wait, that's max fuel. Never mind. 
One minute and fifteen, let's go. You know, I think the multiplayer in this is very interesting. Because it's not exactly clear what's happening. I know that other people are naming the planets, and that's why the percentage went up when I wasn't here. So it's like a collaborative exploration project. Where you're exploring planets with other people, sort of. You know, you don't get to actually interact with them directly. But you can see their influence on the world around you. It really adds to the mystery. It makes me really curious. Like, why is there even multiplayer in the game at all? It's very strange. It's such sort of like an abstract form of multiplayer, too. I mean, typically multiplayer, you know, if they, if they have it in a game, it's play with your friends sort of thing. Or play against other people. But in this case, it's neither. You don't really get to play with them, nor do you seem to play against them. They're just kind of influencing the world in fairly subtle ways that aren't immediately apparent when you're playing. Other than that, other than the fact that planets now suddenly have names. It's very strange. I wonder what the purpose of all of it is. Like, I wonder what's going to happen when this reaches 100%. Something's got to happen, right? Something must happen when you reach 100%, and I want to know what it is. Unfortunately, I'm not going to find out today, obviously. I'll have to wait until tomorrow. Alright, let's go. I was about to shut down the power. Wrong button. Alright, let's hope this one doesn't involve running around and doing nothing. Okay, this one looks like it's got some proper structures to find. Okay, now I can rotate. Do I show up on here or is that only at night? I think it's only at night. Alright, what building is this? That's the... What is that? Is that a pyramid? Uh, kinda? Is it a broken pyramid? Alright, I believe it's that. So, go front, right. Where's the entrance? That's the entrance, so if I'm staring at the entrance and I go front, left, like this way, I should reach the building. Okay, there it is. I turned something on. Oh, you can even see it going. Okay, next building, where all that stuff is originating from, is... Eh, I can't really tell the direction here. Well, let's see, if I came from there and I went front left, then if I... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna go this way. Or I'll just follow the noise. That's actually probably a safer bet. Oh, this thing's just broken. Alright, what else? Well, there's that. Mm, I think I've looked at all the structures, right? Three structures, and then we have that. So I need to find... Wait, do I see a really pale... Oh, something's pulsing into existence. Okay, I need to follow those. Which one am I following? Need to follow... Really hard to look around. Alright. Might be this way. Nope. This way? Nope. <laughs> There's only so many of these to follow. One of these has to work. This way? Oh, this one's going pretty long. This looks promising. I think this is it. Oh, 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 yep, here we go. No, don't go away! Oh, whew, I got it. Alright, that allows me to shoot at stuff close range, which should allow me to activate that platform thing. I just need to find it. The platform thing is... Ooh, this will actually show me where I am. I can shoot this and find it. Okay. Good, good, good. Am I going the right way or am I going the opposite way? No, no, that's good. That's good. 
Uh, yeah, actually, I think if I continue this way, I should be okay. Should be somewhere around here, I think. I think. I hope. I hope. I think. Uh, I'm losing. I'm losing hope. Hope is diminishing. Hope is draining. Warning. Hope meter almost depleted. Yeah, okay. No. Crap. Now I'm just completely lost. Frame of reference, please. Anything? Something? Alright, what is this? It's like massive particles of dust that you can barely see. Hmm. It's almost like there's random weather patterns. Okay. Ooh, I'm actually... No, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. Okay. That should take me pretty much to it. If I follow that backwards and go a little bit left. Here we go. Alright. Now let's make it nighttime. Mm, now, what do I do? Oh, new structure. Well, that's what I do. Alright, this should take me right to it. And done, I think. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright. Let's name the star. Uh, Cordy. After, Cord after Cordelia Smith from the Cognition series. Of course, her full name doesn't fit, so I shortened it to Cordy. Which kind of sounds more cool, actually. Okay. Next closest place. I think this one's probably the next closest, right? Yeah, that's really close. It'll take 14 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> do, 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 do. This one's got a pulse. Should I go to the pulse or to the building? Let's go to the building first. Alright. That gives me the ability to shoot. Okay. Alright, let's go to the center of the pulse, I guess be that... I don't even know what way it is. I can't really see myself. The pulse seems pretty infrequent. Come on, where are you? Show yourself, pulse. There you are? Is this where the pulse is coming from? What the heck is that? I mean, I can finish this map by just... Or finish this, uh, this star by going there, but what is that? It's like a chunk of rock with something on it. Hmm, I can't do anything to it. Weird. And done. We're paving the way for other adventurers, increasing the percentage. Alright, let's name this one Mute. Actually, can I do the asterisk? I can't do the asterisk. Alright, 
just name him Mute. After Mute from um, Analog Hate Story and Hate Plus. Okay, what's the next closest one? I think that's it. But if I go there, where am I going to go next? Everything else is pretty far away from that. Yeah, I'm going to go to... I think this is the next closest one. That has also many more that I can jump to from there. Assuming it's not taken. It's not. 42 seconds, not bad, let's go. Oh, that's cool. If you notice the, um, I just noticed that where you rotate this view actually affects the trail coming from this thing and all of the particles as well. Like, look, if it's straight on. Well, this is really hard to navigate because it has up and down inverted, which is really awkward. So if we do this, it's straight on. And if we're looking at it from the side, if we're coming from left to right, then it's going from left to right. That's really cool. Alright, what does this planet have for us? I hear more of those light things. Let's follow the trail. Oh, that one goes nowhere. And there's nothing here. What about this one? Nothing. Alright, let's just ignore those and just explore around randomly. Hopefully this isn't like that first planet. Oh, I just realized I don't even have a gun, or a weapon, or <laughs> gun weapon, no. A tool, it's not a weapon, and it's not a gun. For some reason I keep thinking of it as one. Yeah, I don't even have a tool, that's strange, I guess I'm not going to need it. Maybe this is one of those plants where you just come across the the orb thing and then that's it? Where is it, though? Might be another planet to ditch. I wonder if these planets, maybe like after you get to 100%, you come back and there's something to do with these planets. Like maybe there's special planets that you just can't solve yet. Yeah, I'm gonna leave. I don't know, it's the only thing I can think of. This doesn't seem to be anything on the planet. This is really hard to navigate because of the mouse invertedness. Or maybe it's a lack of, inver of inversion. I don't know. Either way, something about it feels super awkward. I keep moving the wrong way. Alright, let's check out this one. Alright, minute and 20... 20 seconds, not too bad. I really do want to know what happens when we reach 100%. Something has to happen. And if this is season... What, what was it called when I started? Like season 14 or something? I don't know, it was above 10. If we're, if we're that far along, that means a bunch of other people have already gotten to 100%. So what happened then? I don't know. I'm going to avoid reading about it, though, because I don't want to spoil anything that might happen. So I'm going to get to 100% on my own, uh, see if I can figure anything out, and then I guess probably after that start reading about what other people have seen. Hmm. All right, where am I going to go next? Bunch of options. Uh, can I move this while we're going? Yes, I can. 
Alright, I could go to that one. I could go to these. Ten seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one. All right, this planet has some things going on. Oh, hi. Oh, that one's actually moving. It's orbiting. Let's go to the epicenter of this. Is it coming from this? Yes, it is. Okay, I did something. I think I've looped all the way around, or... Wait, no, this... Oh, this is another one. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's it. And done. Alright, let's name this one... Daniel. I'm actually not sure if that's pronounced Daniel or just... Like, Daniel. It looks like Daniel, so that's, that's how I'm gonna say it. He was a uh, very fascinating... Um... Robot, from the Robot series from Isaac Asimov. Daniel Oliva. Or is it Oliva? Yeah, Oliva. Alright. Next one is this, probably. Hmm. Yeah, what the heck, let's go there. Let's go for medium speed. 45 seconds. God, I'm gonna run out of names so fast with how many I'm doing. You know, one, um... One possible thing I've heard... I've heard that this button might be for, this mysterious button that no one seems to really know, or at least no one knew when I checked yesterday, about what it does. One possible thing I've heard... Which does sound plausible, is that maybe it actually refreshes the planet names. Maybe it refreshes the percentage, even? I don't know. I mean, it makes like a connection sound, right? It sounds like a 56k modem or something connecting. Sort of. No, it definitely sounds like a, like a modem connecting. So it makes me think of, you know, the internet. Achievement unlocked, Alexander. Uh. Okay. Um. I said X. There's X on the icon. Does that mean I got 10? Hold on, let me check my names. Um. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I guess if you include the first planet that I didn't get to name, I guess I've done 10. Well, now I've done 11. Let's name this one... Lucas, after Lucas Kane from Indigo Prophecy, a.k.a. Fahrenheit. Okay, that was very quick. Let's do this one. Oh, that one's... already named. Gamid. Uh, I think that's named? I don't know what that says, but it doesn't look randomly generated. I'm not even sure what those letters are because the font is so strange. J-K-D? Is that a Q? D-Q-D-T? I don't know what the heck that means. Uh, wh wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. I just realized something. 
What happens if you explore a planet that's already been named? I'm curious. Do you get to complete it again? But you just don't get to name it? Or... Hmm. I don't know. Let's start doing some small ones, though. Because I'm on this big cluster. Let's go, like, here. Three minutes. Two minutes. Nah, it's going to take too long. They're going to take a couple minutes at full fuel. Alright. Well, this one's definitely unnamed. 27 seconds, that's better. Forty seconds. There's something very wrong with that line. It seems to be broken. It's not really a line. Yeah, look at that. What the hell? It just ends. Now I'm not even on the line anymore. This line is not continuous. Along the interval, something to... something. Alright, that might be the last planet we do, because we're pretty much out of fuel at this point. Alright, so I can use this to activate any platforms I find, if I can find them. Finding them is going to be the hard part. What? Whoa. I've never seen this before. What is this? They're like randomly appearing and disappearing. It's like... I don't know, star grass or something. There's a building here. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. I think it's the building I started at, right? Yeah. Back to there. Alright, there's gotta be a platform or something that I can activate. to be something. Oh, here we go. God, I'm seriously going to run out of names. I only have two left. Alright, let's use them up. Uh, Tyler. Once again from Indigo Prophecy, aka Fahrenheit. Alright. I'm going to use up the rest of my fuel to get to the next point. Um, ooh, there's something particularly close. What about this big planet? That one looks like it's named. Yeah, that's that weird one. Pretty sure that's named. Just with a very strange name. Hmm. Alright, what about this one? Nope. One minute at full fuel. Okay, let's do it. Rest of the fuel, here we go. Yeah, this definitely isn't the sort of game that you can play for a long period of time. Unless you're very, very patient. 
Because once you're on low fuel, it is going to take you a long time to get to the next star. Probably five plus minutes. I mean, if you had something to do during this section, things might be different. You know, during this downtime when you're traveling, if you had, like, mini games to play or something. I mean, not random mini games. games like, I don't think Bejeweled should just appear on the screen as you're in your spaceship. But, you know, something, I don't know, some sort of relevant activity that you could be doing while you're waiting. Then it could work, but no, there's nothing to do other than move around and, I guess, try to plot out the next star that you're going to. Five seconds. Okay, wow, there's a lot going on here. Wow, look at that. Signals coming from multiple places. Let's go to this first one, this pyramid signal. Gives me the power of rotation. Alright. Let's go to that thing next. Uh, it's really hard to tell where I'm looking. Uh, that should do it, I think. There we go. Okay, we have one of those super fast shooters. No, I just need to find the platform, maybe? I think I saw one of those deactivated platforms. Yeah, there we go. Right about here. Uh, can I... Hmm. Oh, oh, I need to mark it on here. There we go. And let's move that over there. Now what? Oh yeah, let's do this again. Look at that. It's so pretty. Look at that. That seriously is beautiful. And I really suspect it's a bug, but I don't even care. Because it is a beautiful bug. Normally, bugs are nasty and cause memory leaks and crashes and whatnot. But this one causes beauty. Alright, they don't last for long. Mm, can't see it. So I'm nowhere near. Alright, let's just follow these. Just follow the pulses. Nope, already been here, can't do anything. Oh, here we go, this is probably it. Already been here, too. Alright, so what's on here? I've been there. I just came from there. I've been there, so what the heck is... Oh, wait a minute. I think that's n new? Is that new? Hmm. 
All right, where's that at? Not near. It's got to be somewhere along the... about where the ring is... Uh, where the pulse stops, because it's kind of in between the pulses. Is this it? There we go. But what did that do? Oh, there's something new. Now I just need to find it. Right, it's near the pyramid, so let's try to find the pyramid based on the pulses and then go from the pyramid to there. That is not the pyramid. All right. From the pyramid, should be able to see it. There we go. Perfect. Oh, do I need to switch to night? I bet I do. Or not. Maybe I need to activate it. It wasn't there before, was it? I don't think this was there before, so why doesn't it work? I don't know, maybe I'm going crazy and it was there the whole time. Alright, so if that's not it, then what is it? I'm confused. I don't want my last planet to be a failure. That'd be embarrassing. All right, I'm gonna cut to when I figure out what to do. Okay, well, I've spent probably about five minutes just wandering around this planet, or the star, or whatever it is, and I have no idea what to do. So I'm gonna have to back out, but I did find one really, really cool thing. Remember how if you're looking at the planet, and if you do this, uh, hold on, do this, it makes those cool patterns? Well, I can actually do a more extreme version of that for some reason. I don't, again, I don't know if this is a bug or intended. But if I aim at this structure and shoot, look what happens. It's really, really cool. It's beautiful. It's only when I hit it. Just look at that. And if you hit it just right, it starts to form like uh, uh, shapes. Let me see if I can get it. Come on, I want to get it again. Mm, nah, not quite getting it yet. There we go, look. Like, look, on the left side, it's like a vortex. Oh, it's gone now. But there's like vortexes that kind of just appear. There, there's another one on the left. It's really beautiful. All these strange shapes just flying about. Okay, well, farewell, planet. Unfortunately, I cannot name you. Okay, well, I'm... Whoa! I actually have a lot of fuel! How did I get so much fuel? I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna call it a day because... Well, I don't even... I only have one name left. And like I said at the end of last episode, I'm kind of worried that... Going from planet to planet is going to become boring. And I think it will because you basically do the same thing. Either... Either you just walk up to the orb and you're done. Or you do some puzzles that are basically the same thing you did somewhere else, except 
Like, maybe the planet's a different color, and maybe they're slightly different. But it's basically the same stuff. So, unfortunately, I don't really feel like exploring anymore until something new actually happens. And I suspect when something new is going to happen is going to be when this number reaches 100%. Which will definitely be by tomorrow, so... Before the next episode. Before my next play session. That is definitely going to be at 100%, or whatever the maximum is. Maybe the maximum is 95%, just like the A-side. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to see what happens next time. For now, let me see if... Uh, let me see if this number updates if I quit and then go back in. Oh, whoops, I just double-clicked the button. That's not what I meant to do. No, okay, it's still 70%. Okay. Okay. So, when I come back next time, we'll see what happens to that number. Should be at 100%, or 95%, or whatever the maximum is, and then what's going to happen from there, I have no idea. But I'm really curious. So, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.